Dave Mazza, what's going on? Thanks for having me back. Hope everyone's uh, staying well and doing safe out there. All right, there's, there's no doubt we got to be safe first, Dave. I mean, it's pretty amazing. You know, I know that you guys are in Boston and New York, and you go back and forth. And I just heard the mayor of Boston on. I mean, the bottom line is that those, those numbers in Boston, uh, they, they expect them to go up for a little bit longer, you know? Yeah, that's right. I think the situation that we're going to find ourselves, which is why, to your point, we're likely going to be in an environment where volatility is here to stay, and I think we need to learn to embrace it, is that, um, you know, these hot spots are going to be rolling. But we obviously know the epicenter is in New York City itself, uh, but there's still other cities that potentially um, could bubble up. And I think investors have really priced in the fact that, at some point, of course, uh, this does come to an end, meaning uh, the social distancing policies yes. and the economy can, can kind of boom back from there. But we just don't know right now, which is why I think uh, traders need to, to stay on their feet and, and, again, take advantage of the opportunities as they arise. Yeah, no doubt. Now, the last time we were talking, uh, you know, you might have heard me. I mean, this gold, is, <laughs> you talk about a bid out here today. Uh, we have quite a bid. The last time we were talking, we were bringing, you know, the nugget, the dust, the, the J dust, and the um, uh, J nugget uh, G, uh, down to uh, from a three to a two. And... Uh, <laughs> It's pretty good that you did, actually, because even the nugget is up a dollar twenty-eight today, <laughs> as a two, right? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. So, uh, you know, that transition was uh, uh, went into place uh, very recently, and so yeah, we we still think the opportunity set for investors looking for the bull and the bear side uh, is still going to be there uh, at two X, uh, even though it was three before. Sure. To your point, the volatility in that space uh, is just going to increase alongside what, what's happening in the equity market. Gold miners finally getting the bid that, that they've been looking for alongside uh, the metal itself. Uh, so uh, whether it uh, uh, was at three and now it's at two, you know, investors, uh, investors and traders can continue to look for those opportunities, both, um, on the, again, on the long side and on the short side. Yeah, and it was nice and smooth. I mean, just to, some feedback, which was pretty cool. Do you know what I mean? Because I think there's, there's been so many different uh, variations over the last five or six years that it, it really just was going from a three to a two and so the, the, the structure w was the same which you know I think at the very beginning I think people were worried about maybe the structure won't be the same do you know what I'm saying but it was which is great you know? yeah exactly so we, we appreciate you giving us that feedback um, you know we've, we've heard the same obviously there was a lot of questions about what impact uh, it could have but essentially uh, it is uh, the same exact product just at, just at a a, a lower level of leverage, um, but yes. the transition happened, everything happened well, uh, and look, we continue to see uh, people engaged in the product uh, and trading volumes uh, uh, being quite robust. Yeah, totally. Now, when we, when we take a look at the um, aspect of the, the S&Ps, right, uh, you know, th this, these moves are just amazing. So can you explain to us just maybe quickly, right, like when we, when we do a Let's say the SPXL, okay, the SPXS, yes. e either one, folks, the L is the long, the X is the, the short. So every day, right, when you guys start this off, right, so you have to make sure that it's leveraged by 300%. Now, how does that happen? So, yeah, so the way the funds are structured, those two in particular, uh, is think about the 100% portfolio. That's yes. going to be in the individual stocks, the 505 stocks in the S&P 500. Right. And then we use an instrument called the total return swap, uh, which guarantees uh, the, closing, uh, the closing price, the performance on that day uh, across multiple counterparties. Okay. So the ability for a trader to use the product, it's all handled by us. It's smooth there. Uh, but we will actually buy and sell the equivalent uh, securities that we need to ensure any given day um, you're gonna uh, we're, we're gonna try to get you that that three x return on the on the long on the long and the short side. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. So so of course every single day I, I think all of us are gonna learn a lot more about volatility in this market uh, that that you have a counterparty on the other side and of course everyone has to be hedged out as they're doing all of this, right? Yeah, that's correct. So, um, you know, the, the banks that we deal with, uh, we're just, you know, uh, probably one of many trades that they have uh, in what's called their, their Delta One desk that handles uh, offsetting trades of this nature um, so that, uh, you know, we're one counterparty to them. Of course, we monitor consistently the risk that we have with uh, any particular bank at the fund level, at, at our firm's level to ensure uh, that we're, we are able, again, to deliver the, the returns that we're seeking. Uh, and we have seen uh, our, our, our flows and our trading volume uh, just be um, some of the highest we've ever seen on record, as one would expect, 
uh, with the environment that we find ourselves in. Yeah, no, I, I can see that. There's, there's no doubt about it.